I'm Coyote Peterson. This is the Southern Alligator Lizard, and they're called alligator lizards for a reason. Ah! Ow! 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 The Pacific Coast is an incredible environment to explore, and on this adventure, the crew and I were in the Santa Cruz Mountains, hoping to experience some of its biological diversity. From towering redwood forests, to vast chaparral shrublands, the range of landscapes presented countless opportunities for encountering the local wildlife. Some of which is beautiful, yet equally as creepy looking. That is the Jerusalem Cricket. Non-venomous, but they can give you a pretty good bite. So I want to be extra careful handling this guy. And then there are the encounters that happen so quickly, you aren't even prepared for them. I flipped over this board over here, and before the cameras could even get turned on, I found two little coast garter snakes. And I'm guessing these two snakes are probably from the same clutch. So it could be brothers, could be brother and sister. And they're actually pretty calm at this point. By the time, Mark, you got the camera turned on, I was able to handle them a little bit. But right when I first caught them, key defense tactic of this snake is to poop on you. So I got musked. Yeah, it stinks pretty bad. Say I'm a predator coming into this environment. I see these snakes on the ground, try to grab it. I'm gonna get a mouthful of you know what. Not gonna taste very good. And then hopefully they can make their escape. Very cool. Two. Little baby Coast Garter Snakes. Gonna put them right back under the board where they came from, and hopefully we're gonna find something a little bit bigger. Traversing through the shrublands, there is one common lizard species you can stumble upon, and we happen to find ourselves in just the right place to experience the Pacific Coast's tiny resident dragon. He's just hunkered down. Do you see, you see his tongue sticking out? Yeah. That is a southern alligator lizard. Come up right there. Look at him. Now, they're not real quick, Look at him, he just look, he looks like a snake. His legs are tucked right in close to him, right there. Look how well he camouflages right into that dirt. Now, these guys can be pretty aggressive. Wow, look at him, the southern alligator lizard. All right, let's take him up here and uh, into some better light and get some good shots with him. What's really interesting about this lizard is look at the size of that tail. Now, this is a prehensile tail, and it actually looks like at some point in time, oh, he's pooping on me. Great, that's another defense mechanism to poop if you're handled. It's one reason you probably don't want to pick these lizards up if you see them out there in the wild. But the real reason that you don't want to try to come out and pick up this lizard is that they will oftentimes pop their tail off. And this is called caudal autonomy, which means that if a predator comes in, like let's say a raccoon or a coyote, and tries to grab this lizard and bites the tail, this lizard can pop its tail off and the tail will keep flicking and moving around, but the lizard can then escape and find itself some safety. Now this tail will grow back, but it will never grow back as long as it originally was, and usually grows back as like a little nub. And we want to be as gentle as we possibly can with this guy. Yeah, we don't want that tail popping off, do we? These guys can give you a pretty nasty little bite. Of course, they're non-venomous. Oh, look, there you go. See, that? look at that tongue. Looks like a Komodo dragon with that tongue sticking out. He's sniffing me right now. He's got, oh, yeah, you can bite, you can bite. Oh, yeah, ah, that's a pretty good little bite there. Wow, look at that mark that he put in my finger. Did you have to do that? He's like, yeah, you put your finger in my mouth, what you think was gonna happen? Uh, this lizard is very, very interesting feeling. He's very smooth. Uh, the scales are a little rough, but just the slender nature of his body allows him to easily skirt through all of this rough terrain. <sighs> what I'm picking here, this stuff is all covered in little prickers and spikes, and I'm kneeling in it. It doesn't feel good, but his body is like armored plating. So he's just kind of weaving in and out of all these twigs, and those short little legs allow him to quickly move through his environment. Look at that eye. I mean, this, this little guy, he looks like a dragon. It's got that dark black pupil, orange around the outside, and that bright yellow. But it's really the scales on the head that are the most impressive. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Look at the top of his head. And he looks like an alligator. Just the general shape of his snout and those rugged, tough, iron-looking scales on top of his skull. This creature is built like a tank. Does he smell or? He does, he stinks, he pooped on me, this little bugger. And that's what happens if you come out and you try to catch one of these lizards. If you don't get bit, you're gonna get pooped on. And he dropped bombs all over me. And it, I mean, it's bad. It smells like a dead fish that's been sitting in the sun for a few days. 
What have you been eating? Probably bird eggs. It's probably bird eggs that he pooped all over my hand. You see, look, it's all drying up on there. My hand's gonna stink for days now. What a cool experience getting up close with the southern alligator lizard. I got bitten, I got pooped on, and I found one of the coolest creatures out here on the California coast. For me, this was right place, right time. If you guys ever just stumbled upon an awesome creature in the wild, tell me about it in the comments section below. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel and check out these other episodes so you can stick with us on this season of Breaking Trail. Can we look at your belly just for a second? All right, let's look at the belly. That belly is about as silky smooth as it gets for a reptile. Yeah, you want a little belly rub? He's got his eyes closed too, I think he likes that.